Hey, my name's James Wilkinson. Welcome to my channel. Just at one of my properties here in Doncaster. So no whiteboard here today, but I do want to talk about one of the biggest lenders in the UK that's just slashed their rates by nearly 1% to 3.88%. This has one of the lowest product fees that we've seen for a long time, for months and months and months. This is a real game changer. What's happening right now is lenders are fighting for your business. You see, the market, the activity in the market was around 15% down last year. And lenders need to lend. They make money on fees. They make money on lending. And if they're not lending, their profits are going to drop. Their shareholders are not going to be happy. And also, Let's think about this. When you look at a property yourself, you're going to look for properties that are near the top of the comparison engines or the broker that you use is going to bring, bring those cheaper deals to you. So before we jump into this, as always, make sure if you haven't subscribed to the channel, smash subscribe over there, hit the bell notification. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers now. You could be that 25-month subscriber or get me closer to that. So do that now. And also smash the like button, tickle the like button, do something to the like button over there. That really helps with the views on the channel. We got 2 million views last year. This year, I want to get 5 million views on the channel. I can't do that unless people like you smash that like button. So Nationwide, Big Lender, they sat out. I said this was what's going to happen last year. If you watch, not last year, I said this is what was going to happen last year week. So if you watch my channel regularly, comment below if you notice that I said that or if you agree with me. I said that all the big lenders were cutting rates last week. Nationwide was approached by the press and said, well, why aren't you doing this? Because you've been slashing rates uh, considerably over the last few months. And Nationwide just said no comment on it. We reduce rates when we see fit. Now, what I said was that you don't want to reduce the rates when everybody else is because then the Daily Mail, the Sun will just do a piece with all of the lenders combined, right? Bit echoing here, so I'll go back in the, in the living room. Uh, they'll do a piece with all of the lenders combined. And so you won't really stand out as being a lender that has a significantly good rate because last week's press was talking about HSBC, Coventry Building Society, Nationwide, they're good marketers. That's very important in business. And so they decided to go it alone, sit out last week, but they reduced rates today. So they've dropped rates to 3.88%, which is very, very good rate in today's market, well below that 4%. Now, there are some conditions with that, and it is 60% loan to value. So what some of you will jump on now is you'll say, who's got a 40% deposit? Tons of people have 40% equity in their property. So you, of course, if you're a first time buyer, you're not going to buy a property with a 40% deposit. Or if you're any kind of buyer, uh, generally you would buy using your equity. So it's the equity in your property that allows you to do that. Now, the majority of homeowners in the UK have that 40% equity, unless they bought in the last few years. So most people would be eligible for this deal on a re mortgage basis. This is getting people pretty much to the rates that we were getting just before they started hiking rates. Now, you might have seen that rates were at 0.1% with the Bank of England, but they weren't the rates that you were getting. That wasn't the rates. And the average rate was over 3%. So even when we went to 0.1, the average rate was over 3%. So this means there's tons of people, 1.5 million people coming off a fixed rate deal still to happen in 2024. This means that they're not going to have such a big jump. In fact, the people that already had their remortgage happen, they're probably worse off than the people that it didn't happen to because the rates have significantly dropped, as I said. So it's a 60% loan to value, which covers most people. But the fees are pretty good as well. They're £1,495 for the fees, which is a decent amount. You see, we've seen in the last few months, we've had rates at 3%. I've seen rates at 7%, as in the fee, the fee to get the deal, 7%. So if you borrow hundred grand, you are going to pay 7 extra in fees. That was crazy. I've seen rates 
Last week, with 3%, the Mortgage Works, which is actually nationwide as well, have a rate on buy to let that has a 3% fee. This has a fixed fee. So if you've got a 500 grand house, a million pound house, 10 million pound house, or even if you've got a 200,000 pound house, house, this is significantly lower on fees as well. So this is still moving in the right direction. However, there have been some lenders in the last few days as well that are increasing rates again on five year deal. So what does that mean? It means that the outlook for five years is not quite as rosy as they might have expected. Maybe, maybe. Uh, or they want to start pushing people towards those two-year deals because the two-year deals are really what banks want because a two-year deal forces you to renew every few years. That means that they get more fees again. Uh, and so if they can push you and make that two-year deal more attractive which previously the five-year deal is normally what you might want to go for. Now the two-year deals are getting even better. It's swapping around, which is really, really interesting. So what do you think about this nationwide deal? Um, what do you think about this little house here? So this is one of my houses in, in Doncaster. Um, I've just been up here because we've had a ch tenant changeover and I had a builder up here. Really little uh, maintenance here. So this was just redecorated, not properly redecorated. It was just a quick roller over any blemishes. Um, kitchen, this was a little bit messy. Um, in here, again, just to clean down, a little bit of touching up on the paint. Same upstairs, it wasn't too bad. It cost me 300 pounds to get this put back on the market, which is okay. I'd rather not spend anything and I'd rather the tenants stuck around, but they've moved up to Liverpool. So what can I do? They're, this property's in Doncaster and they're not going to commute to Liverpool to work. So that happens from time to time. That's part of being a landlord. When I can, it's hard because a lot of my properties are occupied. Um, but this property here, the estate agent Moss Properties I use in Doncaster, they think they'll rent this. I'm recording this on Tuesday. They think we'll have a tenant by Friday because that is how hot the rental market is. We used to get, when we rented this property out initially, 550. We're now gonna be looking at closer to 700 pounds, and it's just gonna fly out the door. That just shows you what the rental market is doing everywhere at the moment. It's still red hot. That's really helped landlords and investors like me, because with the rising interest rates, we did have high mortgage payments. So without those increased rents, it would have been really, really tough. Anyway, let me know what you think about this uh, nationwide stuff. Do comment below. Do smash the like button, guys. That really, really helps me. And have you bought the fundamentals of property investing yet? It's crazy how many people have bought it. Over 200 people now have bought that investment program. It's under 50 quid. I'll teach you how to make a property like this. This property here is a property that uh, we've got all of our money back out now. We share that, how you do that in the fundamentals of property investing. We share how we did the refurb, the costs, uh, how to find properties and all that stuff. So I'll put a link below where you can grab that for less than £50. So do that now. Do check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.